Welcome to this beginner's yoga class. This video is suitable for everybody who wants to start doing yoga and for those who want to get the basics right. We will start in a tabletop position. Stuck your shoulders directly above your wrists. Your legs are hip distance apart. Now gently rock forth and back to get moving and to warm up our wrists. Now start making circles with your upper body around your hands. Now we will do cat and cow. On an inhale, arch your back and look up. And on an exhale, round your back and look down. Lift up your left leg and extend it back. Lift up the opposite arm and extend it in front. Spread your fingers as wide as you can making monkey hands. This will help you with your balance. Engage your core and bring your elbow to your knee. If you find it difficult to balance, then move the hand, which is placed on the mat, a little bit further away from your leg. Raise your knee on the ground, your arm raises up to the sky. On an exhale, thread your arm underneath your armpit through the hole all the way to the other side. Place your shoulder on the ground. Your knees should be hip distance apart. Focus on your breathing. On an exhale, come back, sit up straight and cross your legs. Your left arm reaches up, overhead and bends to the right. Your right hand flattens on the ground. Inhale deeply and exhale. On your next inhale, change sides. Come back to center, twist to your right. 
Your left hand goes onto your right knee and your right hand is placed behind your hip. Now from your hip, twist your upper body as much as you can to the right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Make your back straight and lengthen your neck. Switch sides and do the same as before. Focus on your breathing. Come back onto all fours in tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide. Then lift up your right leg and extend it back. Lift up your left arm and extend it in front. On an inhale, round your back and pull your elbow towards your knee. Try to avoid arching your back. It's either straight or rounded. Place your leg back on the ground, your left arm raises up to the sky, then you thread your hand underneath the other armpit through the hole all the way to the other side, your shoulder is placed on the ground, relax, deeply inhale and exhale. Come back to center and then into downward facing dog. This is one of the most important positions or also called asanas in yoga. Push your hip up and back, press your heels to the ground and most importantly keep your back straight. If your heels cannot reach the ground, slightly bend your knees. Feel free to stop the video to have a look at the infographic that clearly describes on how to do a perfect downward facing dog. Start walking your dog. Your back remains straight. Try to press your heel as much as you can to the ground. Place your left foot between your hands and come into a low lunge. Untuck your back toe. Your front leg should have a 90 degree angle. Find a vocal point in front of you to better keep your balance. Now either place your hand on your front knee or lift them up to the sky. If they are lifted, try to keep your shoulders down. Deeply inhale and exhale. Avoid arching your lower back. Try to keep it straight. Place your hands on the ground and switch sides.
Remember to keep your back straight. Plant your hands on the ground, your back leg steps in front, your feet are hip distance apart. On an inhale, swing your hands up and come into a low squat, chair pose. Gaze in front, straighten your back, your hands are shoulder width apart. On an inhale, sink down deeper. Release your hands, lower your hips and come into a seated position. Extend your legs in front of you and flex your feet. Now reach your hand underneath your buttock and pull it out. Repeat on the other side. Engage your leg muscles, reach your arms up, straight back and lean forward. If you can, grab your toes. Alternatively, you can also use a yoga strap, a belt or a scarf to get deeper into the stretch. Lie down on your back, hug your right knee to your chest and press your lower back to the ground. Twist your knee to the left side so that you can feel a stretch in your back. Your head turns to the right. If this is too intense, then push your knee a little bit downward. The further your knee is away from your upper body, the softer the stretch. Come back to center, extend your right leg and hug your left leg to your chest, just as before. Twist your knee to your right side and gaze at your left. Both of your shoulder blades should remain on the mat. Come back to center and then up into a cross-legged seated position. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.